What's up guys? If you're new to the channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Kason. If you're not new, welcome back. Anyways, today I'm going to share with you how to edit pictures on that app. Alright, so a few weeks ago I did two tutorials on how to edit in Lightroom Mobile. And this time basically just going to go over the basics of what Visco has to offer, what the different things mean if you don't know, and how to add a preset um, that you can apply to all your pictures. Alright, so I'm just going to open up Visco. Alright, so my friend Wesley sent me this picture to edit. Thank you. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So the first thing you're presented with on the app are, are the presets. Um, they have some black and white options, some warmer options, some cooler options. But um, for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and skip the presets and just go into editing on your own. Um, if you like one of those looks, the only thing I would have to say is, is make sure you... Um, turn it down. So like if you were to use this one, just turn it down a little bit because no one likes over edited pictures. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and discard that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the editing. Basically whenever you click on the two bars, you are presented with all these things at the bottom. I'm just going to start from left to right. So exposure is basically how bright or how dark your overall image is. Dark light. So for this picture, I'm going to turn up the brightness just a little bit because I feel like it's a happy picture. All right, so I have to put that at 1.6. For contrast, very rarely do I see anyone go down in contrast because if they do want the fade that it kind of gives, they would just do it um, in the shadows. I'll explain that in a second. So contrast, I'll usually turn that up a little bit. Don't overdo contrast because then you get like an over over crispy picture if that's even a thing. So I'll turn that up to like 1.5. Oh, 1.5. Um, all right, so for the adjust tab, I'm going to crop it a little bit. This is basically where you can straighten or resize your image if you're doing it for Instagram or if you just don't like the composition of the image. Okay, so whenever it comes to sharpening your image and adding clarity, you have to be a little careful because if you turn this up all the way, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, Clarity, sometimes I'll turn up just like a little bit, but most of the time I'll just leave it alone. And this image I don't feel like should be one of those desaturated looks, so I'm going to leave that alone. Alright, so for this tab, the H&S tone, basically it's controlling your highlights and your shadows. So you see if I turn this up, how the, sh how the highlights get like dulled down almost. Um, I'm going to leave that alone. And for the shadows, I will look in the tree, and whenever I turn this up, it adds like a fade to the tree. So if you are going to do a fade, like I said, do it here. Don't do it with contrast. So I'm going to do that a little bit because I like the look. I would also recommend doing a fade there versus a fade right here because this fade adds it to the whole image and it makes it look kind of flat. And if you are going to do the fade, just do it a little bit, I wouldn't do it much. Alright, so white balance is basically controlling the colors in your image. So most of the time in your camera, it's going to be on auto white balance, especially if you're taking a picture with the phone. So you won't really have to worry about this unless you're looking for like a stylistic choice. A lot of people use this as like a way to change the mood of their pictures. So since it's starting to become fall, you know, you get a lot of reds, oranges and whatnot. Um, they'll tend to turn up the temperature on the warmer side. So I'm going to turn that up to like 1.5. Yeah. And very rarely will you have to mess with the green, the um, purple. Leave that alone. So the skin tone on here isn't really accurate and I don't usually use it. So I'm just going to skip that. Vignetting is basically adding the black borders around the edges. But with my experience on this, I feel like it's darkening the whole image. So if you are going to add that, just add it on a different app because I, I don't like the way that they do it in this app. Grain. Grain's become more popular. I don't really prefer the look, but if you do, it looks something like that. I'm going to skip that, like I said. Um, I've already been over the fade. And so the split tone is basically adding a color to your shadows or a color to your highlights. So in the shadows, a lot of people tend to add blue, you know, halfway. And then in the highlights, people usually add orange. 
So I think it looks good. If that's what you're going for, that's a good idea. Another thing, I mean, you can always play around with these and just see what you like. But just for the sake of this, I'm gonna leave them both at zero. All right, so after you get done editing your image, if you wanna save all the adjustments that you used for the picture and add it to other pictures, just click on this middle right button, um, click create a recipe from your current edits, and there you go. You have a little button that's gonna pop up with the picture in it, and just hit save. So yeah, like if I were to go to this picture and want to add it on there, you click on the picture, you click on the edit button in the bottom left, you click on the same button that you did to create the recipe. Um, it's basically a preset. Hit the preset and then you have your image. If you see something that's not looking right with your image after you add the preset on it, just go back over to the little the two bars and go adjust this. So like for this, I might turn down the exposure just a little bit. Like right there. And I think that looks good. Um, if I wanted to add a little bit more warmth to it, I could do that. So that's basically it. Go hit save and you're good to go. Here's another picture. We're going to go over here to the recipe again. Add that on there. So this picture is a little bit darker so for the exposure I would turn that up just a little bit more and I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, go try that out on the app. Um, see what you can come up with. Just play around with some of the recipes. Play around with the different adjustments. Really the only way that you're going to get good at this and know what you like is by practicing and trying things out. So definitely mess around with it. Figure it out. In my opinion, Lightroom Mobile has a little bit more customization that they have in the app. However, if you just want to do basic editing, Visco does a great job. So, yeah. Alright guys, I guess that's it for today's video. I'm going to put Wesley's Instagram account in the description if you want to go check out some more of his pictures. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please hit the like button below. Also, if you want to see what Lightroom Mobile has to offer, or you want to see a vintage tutorial or a dark and moody tutorial, you can check them both out up there. If you haven't subscribed and enjoyed this type of content, then please consider subscribing below or over here in one of those corners. Alright guys, I will see you next time.